The Custom Anti-Narcotics Unit, CANU, along with local law enforcement authorities, are closely monitoring the arrest of Guyanese businessman Sherrington Lovell, called Big Head, who was arrested along with two others on Thursday morning at a normal Manly International Airport in Jamaica on drug trafficking charges. According to information reaching the evening news, the men may have appeared in the Kingston court on Thursday and waived their rights to fight the extradition filed by the United States. This was confirmed by a source close to the canoe. Lovell is the owner of the Tower Hotel on Main Street, Georgetown. Meanwhile, efforts are continuing to crack down on the drug trafficking network in Guyana. In fact, Police Commissioner Leslie James recently told reporters that a police force is assiduously working with sister law enforcement agencies to get those big drug traffickers. We are fully aware of our mandate. And whenever we get any lead, we fall in those leads. And if it leads a big, a, a big drug um, trafficker, that person will have to answer questions. That's our position. Any big drug use, drug trafficker, we get leads, that's it. If the public has information, you can give it to us anonymously and follow up. Follow up. Engage you, will let you, let you know, well, look, I've passed so and so information to the police. I've not heard of any, info, any feedback. But we're very serious about that. And any drug, serious drug, well, large drug trafficker, as you said, we get the information about that person and anything to, um, in terms of arresting that person, so on, would be done. We're not afraid of any large drug, drug trafficker. It was reported that Lovell, who has been under the radar of Canu and international investigators for a lengthy period, was arrested along with the Surinamis and Venezuelan national as soon as they arrived in Jamaica on a flight from Guyana. Evening News understands that the hotelier is expected to face several charges of drug trafficking along with money laundering. A vessel property of Lovell was also intercepted, which is suspected to be used by the businessman to ship the illicit the drugs from Jamaica to St. Martin. For the evening news, Yenala Dalrymple.